As soldiers of the Indiana National Guard return from deployments in Iraq and Afghanistan, integrating them back into their families and the lifestyles they once knew can sometimes prove to be difficult. Additionally, many behavioral health clinicians around the Hoosier State admitted that they lack some of the unique skills to treat our military population returning from war, as well as the family members they were returning home to. You make me cry. Last time I left, you Give me a big kiss. We're somewhat insulated as a society in not really understanding and not being connected to the, to the conflicts that we're in, to the wars that we're in. And so even behavioral health people were not aware of what was going on. STAR Behavioral Health Providers of Indiana is currently sponsoring a three-tiered training program throughout the state to help civilian clinicians address these military sensitivities. On my intake, I now ask people if they've ever served in the military. And I, that just didn't occur to me. And that's just a real huge oversight when you think about what that might mean. On March 8th and 9th of 2012, STAR Behavioral sponsored one of their Tier 2 training programs at the Ivy Tech State College Life Sciences Building in Bloomington, Indiana. We've got the two steps, and they're all, they're all formal. Training was conducted by instructors from the Center for Deployment Psychology out of Bethesda, Maryland. I think that today we're really trying to um, allow clinicians to develop a bit of a, a clinical lens, uh, a military-focused clinical lens. So they're able to use the therapies and skills that they already have, but to be able to have an eye toward military-specific problems. Like if you work third shift, you force yourself. The importance of this kind of training? Oh my goodness. Uh, Any time that we can help civilian clinicians understand the veteran slash military culture a little bit better, it's going to make their job easier and it's going to provide better care for our veterans. Did our bodies react to that, or is that kind of... And, and I really have been flying around on planes since this war started, wondering, like, what can I do for that guy sitting over there and not knowing? This gives me the, the knowing. I know what to do now. Mm -hmm.